Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Miles Shop. Hello Mason out there in the UK. I hope you're doing well, buddy, and enjoying the fall weather. Don't forget to wear your warm clothes when you go outside and say hi to your parents for me. All right, folks, here's what's happening. I don't actually remember everything I did in this video. I think it's real short and simple. I think all I did was railing because I've... Uh, railing, railing, for this video is about railing. Um, I, I shot this over the course of the last week in different bits and pieces and spread it out. Uh, but I believe the, the big deal is on the back end of the ship, uh, B, C, and, or C, B, and A deck, B, C, the, the decks in the back of the ship, I've installed the railing back there. Uh, rail cap, though, I don't have. I have the KA cap, but it's not, it's too thick. We'll talk about that later on. So what I've gone ahead and done is made my own cap. Uh, with the laser printer or the laser cutter and installed that instead and that's that's basically what this whole episode's about um, I'm sorry and I'm in a rush it's a late Friday night I'm trying to get this out to you guys tonight and visit with the family and do all those things so let's get editing all right guys see you in the video okay back in action here uh, this is a mess of stuff right so we are focusing in right here on the railings uh, these instructions that we've got and the, the 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 point of contention that I have going on right now is uh, pieces s 10 this is the uh, railings and this is what K provides you with now here's the deal the railings they're great photo etch ready to go they are to scale with what ka I'm sorry they are to scale with what trumpeter has provided on the kit, which in my opinion is a little bit large. We are using uh, a lot of photo etch parts from Neil Wood's um, Woody's Model Works shop, and he has correct to scale uh, railings on all of his stuff. And so to keep everything congruent, we need to match that. Now, just so we're clear, uh, what I'm gonna do for these little railing sections that I'm provided right here, instead of putting those big thick ones on, I'm gonna go ahead and use polystyrene strip for now. Uh, this is the dimension that I'm using. And I do want you to know, Neil Woods, he's quote, on it. He is on it making a railing set uh, to finish up all the rest of the railing on the ship uh, in photo etch to be to scale with the stuff he's done, which looks right. Uh, but we're not gonna use the KA stuff. It's just too big. So uh, I just wanted you to see, this is the size I'm gonna use and make those um, yeah, rail tops. All right, press it on. All right, so this is just, I cut little pieces of styrene to match the length, right? For a railing that goes on top. So uh, just gonna dip the top of the railing in some CA glue and get it straight. And touch it like that. Flip it over there so you can see. So it's installed, and then we'll get some CA glue on this side. And just come back, turn it this way so everyone can see. Touch it on like that. All right, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's, it's not gonna, in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna matter. So now all we gotta do is touch it up with some paint uh, and stick it in place. What I don't know yet, ironically, is are the tops of these supposed to be mahogany or were they left white? Uh, these little pieces of railing are more like gates. They go, they get dropped in like this. I've got a little sign I gotta put on. They're for uh, denying you access to the area on the boat deck for the lifeboats, which of course later on they'd have to open these areas up. So I'm going to have to figure out what color to paint that. But anyway, we'll get this painted up, we'll make all these, and then install it. Okay, uh, real quick, ran into an item here. So number 66 it says to use E33 and then G26R. Right, that's for the, it's that bottom piece right there. So what I ran into was the issue is that it didn't fit the, uh, the bottom piece. But I noted that there were two of them, and you didn't need to, you don't need this one later on, at least I don't think so. Uh, so what I did was I cut up this piece twice, 
to fit along the railing here in a way that uh, makes sense to get what you need. On um, the other piece that we're doing next, um, number 67, I think it all lines up correctly. So that was just a weird thing. I'm just letting you guys know when you get to it, I ended up cutting up uh, this bottom piece to work. All right, pressing on. All right, a um, ton of stuff here. So over here are the KA instructions, which I'm going to reference to mark off my parts. I've got the ship in place. And then down here, sort of complete, are each of those little railings I've got to put in. I have determined that the tops of them uh, were mahogany, so we'll, we'll paint all of those. Uh, I am using for assistance this book. I think I referenced it for our uh, Titanic Model Maker's Guide. I mentioned this probably over a year ago in my reference material. But what I like about it is right here, uh, nicely laid out, are plans for the deck with the signs on them and a layout showing where these go and where the gate is and where the sign goes. And so I'm going to be using that. It's the same Titanic deck plans as in the uh, Titanic Ship Magnificent. It's just that this is easier to reference and make sure that I get things quote unquote correct. So I'll start out here, uh, probably get my first one put in, mark, work my way back on the port side. We'll do the starboard side. And then I think after they're installed, I'll come back with some paint um, to paint the tops of the railings or I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that first. It might actually be easier on the ground. So anyway, that's that. All of this is how we're going to put on those tiny little railings right there. All right. So yeah, let me get some paint and stuff and then we'll come back and install them. Okay, here we go. Uh, just kind of like the first one. Hopefully it works out. Oh, there we go. Make sure it's straight up and down as best as I can here. So there's two uh, little dots here on the scale decks deck <clears throat> that I'm referencing as uh, make sure it's focused there alignment because I saw in the instructions that I think one of the um, oh man I'm gonna get the word wrong right now it's the device that uses to launch your lifeboats is sitting right here and I believe they butt up flush. Well, I hope. So anyway, that's where the first one goes. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get the rest of them in. Press them on. Okay, here we are back in action. We have done a few things. If we zoom in here, you can see that the railing has now been installed on, what is this here, our C, B, and A deck and boat deck. I think I said that right. Anyway, uh, so... I have affixed it to um, the face for the most part of this edge right here in an effort, as you can see down here, to get my height to match what's going on with this railing here on the right. So the next thing it takes, and this is just your regular railing installation, the next thing that has to happen is uh, there's supposed to be a cap that goes on top of all of these rails to match the uh, mahogany. Well, this there's no cap there, but because uh, this is just deck, but our rail right here. And like we've seen up in other parts uh, of the ship, way up there and everything, blah, 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 blah. So uh, KA provides those parts which my client has purchased in their kit. The problem is uh, the KA rail caps, photo etch, are to scale with the Titanic kit rail cap parts. And they are huge and they are over sized. Uh, we want them to be nice and skinny like this uh, because it's Woody Model Works railing and it, and it matches. So I've spoken with Neil at Woody's Model Works and he's answered some people online. Uh, he is in the process of developing uh, a rail cap that goes on here. Uh, he's also thinking about providing this whole rail set in addition to the caps and multiple backups so that um, you know these small fragile pieces of photo etch uh, 
that you might want some spares for if you're going to install. The issue that we have is Neil hasn't done that stuff yet today. Today is now, and now, right now, I don't have those caps and, and I need them. So what have we done? We have this setup over here. There's my laptop, and as you recall, that's the uh, TS5 laser printer. I have a new 40-watt CO2-based printer right there that I have to set up, do a review on, and get going. But for now, uh, we're using this little guy, and my whole mess, whole range, this is not permanent. We're going to change this whole wall and everything someday. But uh, what I've done is use some software, and I'll give a gazillion examples, to cut out, uh, for example, our first shape. Now this is on uh, styrene. I've experimented with different products and things, and ultimately, uh, I was actually talking to Neil, he's like, why don't you use a scale dex wooden deck? Then your client will actually have um, wooden decks. I said, well, they're getting painted anyway. They've got to match this railing. So whatever, I cut them out, and I've got two sitting here that I've painted, and we're gonna let that set up and we'll begin by installing that rail cap right here. This is, I mean, the most simple thing would be to do this straight away, but I, I need to do this geometric shape. So we've got that for both sides. Then we'll start worrying about up here. I, I don't think that it is worthwhile to do one big piece uh, the way I'm doing it. Now, in Photo Etch, that's a different story. Um, in fact, actually in Photo Etch, it would be better if this was one piece, this run from this corner to here, and then you had this one by itself, and you just have them connect in the middle. Uh, something, something reasonable to handle. Up on top here, not so big of a deal, right? A couple of 90s, a big straightaway, and you're set and ready to go. So uh, we're going to let this paint dry on the wood. Uh, we'll cut it to shape and we'll install it. Pressing on. Okay, we've got our piece prepped, so I'm just going to grab some CA glue and put it on top of the rail right here. And I'm going to run it along this edge. I'm going to save this final straightaway uh, for after everything's all right. I guess uh, the threat here, so this is very, very fragile wood. The paint drying is going to help it. Uh, we could put some CA glue over the actual wood when we're done to firm things up uh, with some additional painting, but, you know, <laughs> it's fragile. If, if I screw this up, I got to make a new piece. That's, that's the bottom line here. And I don't, I'm not too worried about that. This process is really, once, once the uh, railing's designed and you have the right shape, uh, it's it's really not hard. Move the camera because I got to get up here. So the big thing is getting our piece of wood straight. Here we go. And I apologize if my fingers just got in the way there. Um, sometimes a necessary evil when making videos. The model's got to turn out right. I understand what's the point of the YouTube video if you can't see it, what I'm doing, but there we go. That's the first part of the railing. Looks good. So let's get a little more glue like that. Now I'm just going to Make sure it's straight and that looks fantastic. I left myself a little handle here that we're going to snip off. Okay, now I'm just going to come back in with a paintbrush and I'm going to freshen up uh, the paint and I might run a little CA glue along here just to beef up the connection and to give a little rigidity to our piece of wood and that's it. We just have to go ahead and do the rest of it. All right, pressing on. Okay, here we are back in action. Uh, yeah, I'm done for, for now. If I don't hurry up, you guys won't 
get to see this video. So uh, what I've done is finished cutting out the railing and I've slapped it on. It's all wood and been painted up. Um, what I do need to do still, some of the acute observers watching this on their giant TV screens will notice I've got uh, sharp corners for right now on areas that should be round. I'm going to come back in and very carefully round all of these corners off. It's wood. I'll be able to sand it. I'll reinforce it with some CA glue ahead of time uh, and just put a nice little bevel on there and then touch everything up with some paint. So yeah, it worked out. It's not perfect, but it, it, it in my opinion, it more than does the job of uh, matching up with the thinner scale correct stuff from Woody's Model Works. Um, I got to look at a couple things. I'm not sure. I might need a rail run rung right there. I'm not sure yet. I'll go into my references and check that out. Uh, it's not all perfectly square. It's, but a lot of things, like, you know, this one's a tough one. This piece up here, it's got to be straight. It is straight. Uh, here, we'll take a quick look at that. Go on wobbly cam mode here from up above, and you can see it's pretty good. It's not perfectly straight, right? But it's it's really darn close. And and that ultimately is what we're looking to do here. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Because if I don't get into the office and start editing this, you guys won't see a video and I'll be in trouble. Uh, we're looking really good, though. We've got our benches all up on the boat deck area here. Um, the astute observer will note that I eliminated the center black stripe. I found a really good reference that showed that the beams went straight across. So I, I took those out. Uh, it was no big deal, obviously. And yeah, those are in place. So uh, we are very close to being able to do the rigging on the funnels. Um, this railing being installed will allow me to put a couple more benches in here. And then up on the bow area, there's a lifeboat that goes here and on the other side. I need to look at that detailing. That is going to have to happen next, I believe, because you know all of this stuff's going to extend down in front of it. And that would be a real mess to try and work on. So I think we'll probably... Uh, hit that area next. I apologize for the messy background, but you know, let's let everybody kind of take a good look at the profile of the ship here. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.